<laughs> all right, let's get to this, guys. We had a fun project that we all worked <laughs> on, and now we're going to break it down. Mikey McDougan, tell the fans what we're doing right now. Jeremy Lin. <laughs> yeah, no, Jeremy Lin is not involved. <laughs> but I'm telling you, Jeremy what Lin. we did is we asked everybody to create their perfect Browns offseason plan, which included <laughs> draft picks, trades, signings, and yeah. re-signings. Given the cap flexibility of about $50 million, nice. which is what we expect Cleveland to have <laughs> after restructuring Watson, Cooper, and some other deals. So yes. these deals had to be relatively realistic. We told, the the, we told the line on that. Yeah, We did tell the line. Well, I didn't because I cut additional play. <laughs> That's, so I, I can't, went above and beyond. I, I can't so, wait to hear Bulls. Yeah. So how we're going to do this, and Brad's going to go first, is oh, we're going to let oh, Brad explain oh, wow. his offseason plan, <laughs> yeah. and then we will agree, disagree, and talk about each okay. one in order. So Brad... Here we go. Let's go. Stop first playing up. with me. What do we got? You put the graphic up. Stop Here playing with me. So let's 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 go to this. I'm gonna hit you. Oh my god! Let me let me let me start you from the beginning here. Hold on. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Young I'm fella, you, I'm gonna let it breathe. I'm gonna All let right. you breathe. Look, hey, 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 hey. Relax, young fella. Pre pension. Slow down. Relax. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me tell you how this works. Oh, first of all, yeah. first of all, oh, I don't care go. about no damn cap. <laughs> That's the first thing I don't care about. Here we go. Secondly, I know I've got a lot of pieces to fill, and the only one that can bring me pieces is Chubb. As much as and you know, I love Nick Chubb, mm-hmm. but you I'm do. like, I'm like Red back. And Pat Riley. Yeah. When you gotta go, guess what? You out. You, you gotta go. Jerry mm-hmm. Krause gotta go. Right? Not that personal. You can come back. I'll get you some tickets. But I need, <laughs> I, I, need I need what you can bring me. I need I got a lot of holes here to fill. Right, bro. <laughs> All right. So, so then I would so that's that's my big one. Okay. Because if, if you think about trading Nick Chubb, yep. just think about the wealth of things you're gonna get from that. Picks. Cause I need picks. You go, you, a third? What you get from him? I'm gonna get a third. I'm gonna get a four. You gonna, gonna take a? a you'll somebody take a, G is thirsty. You will take a third round pick. Let me. No, no. Up. I need number of picks. I need. Oh, you need multiple. See, picks. Multiple this picks. is not, not the NBA, right? Okay. Well, Football. You can the, get players, the players. The players. The players that make the team. Third, four, fifth. Those are the ones that make the team. Mm-hmm. It ain't the first round dudes that always flame out on you, right? It's not true, right? Okay. So let's go. So great let's go, I'm going for wealth here. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now let's go to the signings. I need a defensive, defensive, defensive tackle, so I need Hargrave, right? He gonna cost me big some, money. He gonna cost me some money. Mm-hmm. Right? That's why I don't care about no cap. <laughs> right. <laughs> Second thing, I subscribe to like one of my old bosses told me years ago: no permanent friends, no permanent uh, uh, enemies. Welcome back, Odell Beckham. Oh boy, mm-hmm. come on back, Odell. Bro. I actually, I actually, I would not be opposed to bringing him back. I wouldn't yeah. be opposed to it either. <laughs> Listen, no permanent friends, no permanent. Look enemies. who's next now. I'm going to Ohio State Your here. Boy. No I'm bucks. going to Ohio State here. No bucks. Look, because here, somebody in the backfield, I mean, in the, in the defensive secondary is not happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of those. Oh, one of, going to trade news? Yeah, so one of them is not happy. So guess what? In the words of Jerry Krause, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye-bye. Oh, I'll get my man from Columbus. Eli, come on home, bro. You're good. <laughs> Just don't get burned. So you get rid of Chubb and G. Bring that back up. I'm not done. I'm not done. Your last one's Devin Bush. No, no, I got two left. Stop. Relax. Slow down. All right. (laughs) Then I'm going to get the Michigan man. Okay, linebacker. Because I need to solidify this linebacker. Devin Bush. Okay. And I am. I'm all for bringing back Taki Taki Mm -hmm. and Anthony Walker. Right. That gives me a nice long linebacker core. Okay, yeah. I ain't got to fool around with wannabes and the people that might be, might not be. Now that only leaves me on the other end because Clowney's out of here, right? And with the picks I got, I'm getting nothing. So <laughs> I might as well go down to Columbus and get the dude Zach Harrison. Because Ohio State, what they do, if you ain't paying attention, they're going to give you some edge rushers, right? I hope that maybe he may develop into something, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm willing to take a chance. Plus, he's only two hours away, so we ain't got to be flying nobody in here, right? <laughs> <laughs> he wait, he's saving jet fuel. This guy got a jet fuel budget. Man. That's, that's my, that's my no cap. I ain't worried about no cap. I ain't worried about no cap. I got cap people. That's what's going to get man, around the cap. Hey, man, look, listen, my picks is looking better and better by the second. Damn, I next? can't wait to get to Who you. All right, what's, 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 what's our grade for Brad's offseason? <laughs> What does the chat say? We're going to put a poll up at the end. Okay. We're going to put that poll up. And they're going to vote. The YouTube chat's going to vote right. who had the oh. best. The All early right. reaction. I'm that was quick scan real quick. Yeah. 
Heart Brad, rate. not sure they love your ideas. Uh, not, not sure they love where you're uh, going. Listen, uh, fans are always <laughs> <saying> <laughs> they, they love Jerry Krause. I did in Chicago. Either. That's six, true. Six titles later. There we all be. Hargrave would be We're a great addition. <laughs> I actually had Hargrave on my initial list, and then I changed it because I needed money elsewhere, but he'd be a great addition. Go ask the Bulls if they, all right, if there they we like go. Krause left. Let's move it on. Who's up next? Mikey McNuggets. I'm up next. Yes, I did one here, too, and I hope this is uh, a little more satisfactory to okay. the fans. We're going to read. start with the trade. I am trading my 2023 second round pick, a 2023 fourth round pick, and a 2024 second round pick to Tampa Bay for their 2023 first round pick. And what with is with that, you and G? Teams, how are <laughs> like two twos and a four? Nobody's for a one, doing for a team that. Teams don't give up a first round pick for second round pick. Nobody's picks. doing yes, that. Would. No, they're not. Watch it happen. <laughs> no, it's with not. With the 19th pick, I'll taking get. Jackson Smith and Jigba. The wide receiver the from Ohio State. Need a guy in the slot. Jackson Smith and Jigba will they not be there at 19. It's humanly possible. They're they, way over the cap. They need some younger players. Do you uh, think they're going to trade the 90 yes. to restart a franchise? Absolutely you think they're yes. going to trade the Kyle first Kyle Trask pick? is their quarterback. They're they not going to trade down 30 spots to get. Oh, no, my god. What pick number do the Bucks have? 19. 19. And what the pick is the Browns? 40. 42 next year, second, and a fourth. Okay. So you're saying, think yes. about what you're saying. Here, <laughs> yes, I am. That the Buccaneers are going to trade down yes. 25 spots, roughly. Yes. No, let them go. Just, just to get a second round pick next year yes. and a fourth round pick Boy, this year. Just, yes. Zero chance. That's what I said. But just let them yes. go. Zero just let them go. Go ahead. Right. If you guys don't like that, then wait till you see G's trade. We towing the that's line. A, I told you. No, we towing the line. Way, that's a basketball. With that 19th <laughs> pick. <laughs> I'm taking Jackson Smith and Jigba in the third okay. round with the pick the Browns still have. In the third round. No, Keanu first, no. Benton, the defensive tackle out of Wisconsin to address that need. In free agency, this is where I'm hitting a home run here. Go Bucks. Okay. I'm first off signing Sadie Ignatius and Cleveland native Jermont Jones, the defensive tackle from Denver. A little cheaper than Javon Hargrave. I gave him about an $18 million valuation. Helping the linebacker court with Levante David for about $8 million. Juan Horn, uh, Thornhill, the safety from Kansas City, for about $6 million. Arden Key for $7 million. The edge pass rusher from Jacksonville, who I well, think I is a key list. target. And give me McCall Hardman to help round out that receiver core. I wanted a young receiver and a little more of a proven commodity, even though Hardman's been injured. So that gives me Jackson Smith and Jigba, McCall Hardman, Amari Cooper, and Donovan Peoples-Jones in my receiving core. Then I'm going to re-sign Pochich and Anthony Walker, and we're winning the Super Bowl. I, I, I don't know about that. You got two wide receivers that you get, and that's got injury problems. So and you can't make the club if you're in the tub. And the Browns <laughs> got to get a wide receiver that's a short thing. And neither of those guys Look. are short things. That look like JSN a lot. Is a JSN is hey, a fool. Hey, Mikey, that look like a lot of money you put out there. I'm not a money guy. I know guy, the math but... adds up. Look, we yeah, can do the whole math. Yeah. 18, 8, 6, 4, 6, 7, and 2. I ain't, I, I ain't worried about no cap. <laughs> I like yeah, the defensive yeah, the moves. rules with me. We ain't worried about no stinky cap. <laughs> I liked all your defensive moves. I think that was good. But your trade's unrealistic. There's no way. No way. There's no way. You're Watch not, it on draft night. You're not understanding value on draft picks. I guess I... Fool me. I'm the only one that got a realistic trade out of this whole thing. A good trade. Oh, you got a good trade? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, this, yeah. this man, I can't, this man, if that man behind the glass crazy. is on something. Y'all are All right, on let's something. Get to Not, Thomas, you ready? Come Go on. I mean, preemptively, bro. preemptively ripping G's a little unfair. We haven't seen <laughs> hey, listen, they see, wait, I'm, G, I'm in the dugout. Yeah. I'm in the dugout. The dugout no wait, 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 before you take Tyvis, <laughs> yeah. let, let me preface. Tyvis is trading for Brandon Cooks. I'm going to tell you who he's trading no, for. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I said, Why I said or. Either it's two. No, you don't get or. You no pick ors. one. They no, what well, then if that's the case, you then I pick D Hop then. So he okay. make it D Hop. No, oh, then it's going to change the whole graphic. But either way, what he's proposing for D Hop is significantly less than what every report on the internet says the Cardinals are going to accept. So, Tyvis. Give me my opinion on it. Go ahead. No, it's not. Let's go, go, ahead, Tyvis. Tyvis. Let's go ahead and go ahead and get so, your money. So, so we already know. Take Cooks out. It's not Cooks. It's uh, D Hop. That's D Hop. Because it makes no sense. So the reason A I'm third round pick in DPJ. Yeah. What's wrong with that for D Hop? Man, I, I think that's possible. Actually, yeah, I'm about to say what I do you mean? Like, I'd rather you, trade another draft pick than than. Uh, no, I would trade. D, I'm trading DPJ because first of all, you got to pay him sooner or later. Second of all, him and D Hop, you're getting essentially almost the same thing. Obviously, D Hop is more proven, more of a superstar, more of a mm. big play making ability guy. So why would you right. keep both of them? That neither Fair one enough. of them are burners. Neither one of them are I'll great see, route I'll, runners. I don't, see, I don't see D Hop on your you, list anywhere. He's he's no, he's he, sweet because he put Brandon Cooks, oh, okay. but I told him D Hop. Okay. I don't know why. But so he, he said Brandon Cooks. I just looked at the text. It, 
You 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 want to go there? You, <laughs> you can't say cooks or so, so, Josh yeah. Downs wide receiver. Anyways, okay. Yeah, anyways, so yeah, 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 moving to the draft. So I, I took Josh Downs. At first, I was gonna go with Tyler Scott, the kid out of Cincinnati. First of all, shout out to Anthony for making this switch for me. Yeah. I like Tyler Scott out of Cincinnati because he's more like a Tyler Lockett. Both of these guys are okay. five nine. Uh, Tyler Scott got a little bit more of the the speed. I think they, but they both ran close to the same 40. But I like yeah. Josh Downs because Josh Downs at North Carolina mm. is a true slot guy. He played the slot. Now he has the ability to play outside, but the thing that makes him different between Tyler Scott that I like is that he goes and attacks the football when it's in the air. Okay. To be 5'9 and jump to go get the ball over these DBs, that's what you want, especially yeah. as something that you need in the, in the passing so game. You like I had him as my draft pick too, and then I. Picked up a different wide receiver somewhere else. You like so I little wide it, but I had no, it. in the slot, you don't want no 6 3 guy. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Because you need those shifty guys to create shifty. that space. Is it, I don't as, know, a, as a former DB, you struggle way more with the shifty guys than the bigger so wide receiver. My receivers. beef with Tyvis is, is I think Yannick Ngankwe is not very good. I think he's overrated. No, I think he's not going to be break the bank. Either. Yeah, I think. And I don't know. I don't need a corner. Why? A corner? No, Jimmy Ward is he's not a corner. A Jimmy safety. Ward is oh. a is a. I put Jimmy Ward on there because he's the Malcolm Jenkins that this oh, defense needs. Okay. He, 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 he plays he's safety, safety corner, corner and nickel. So if right, somebody goes down, which we know in our secondary is very likely to happen, you don't have to panic because Jimmy can go play that position. No, no the only okay. part I don't agree with is I don't agree you should trade that you should trade your best young receiver. I don't like trading DPJ and either. That's your best young receiver. You get I want to add to the core, yeah. not I mean obviously not, Hopkins is better, but But especially when you get Cooks and Hopkins that <laughs> be out a lot, you need somebody to be durable, right. right? I don't want I don't want to trade DPJ. I'm also I'd rather just trade saying, more you guys draft picks. Can say my trade evaluation was <laughs> off. But the proposal we talked about two weeks ago was two second round picks for Brandon Cooks. Now you're training a third and DPJ. I feel like it's taking a big step down. D Hop or Brandon Cooks? Well, it was for Cooks. Hop no, was I don't more, buy so. that it's going to take two. No, two literally, the picks. report just came out yesterday or like two days ago. They they looking for like two third round. And picks. And who knows what they're looking for and what they're going to get is a different story. Exactly. Yeah. So if we know what they're going to get, I want I want G's trade to be accepted with full arms. Yeah. I know I trade to be accepted. Yeah, no, I, I like that. Cut it I'm out. Cut it Thank out. Thank you, G. Teams don't trade from the middle of the first round to the middle of the second round just to get a second round pick next year. That makes no sense. That every year. No, 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 because they because y'all be unrealistic. I'm not trading no first. First round pick if I'm not getting the first the round only pick way every time. Period. That is if they got a first <laughs> next year. That's what I'm saying. Period. Then they might no do way. G Bush, we're taking a victory <laughs> lap. Right, G Bush, you're up. Man. Go ahead, man. First of all, let me just go ahead and preface this. Shout out to the chat. See what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you the best of both worlds. You're going to get some rookies. You're going to get some veterans. You're going to get some, uh, you know, roll the dice on a couple guys. But <laughs> what you are going to see is by far. This stimulus package right here yeah. is the package all that right. we all need to get mm. to make the Cleveland Browns great again. Here we go. All right. <laughs> make them great again. Now, let's go right here. Here we go. So, let's go. So, first of all, let's go ahead and get DeAndre Hopkins, right? So, he can trade a third and a fifth, but I can't trade a third and DPJ. I told I told you his you evaluations you, you, you are all. You, did, you didn't explain yourself well enough. You got to explain yourself. <laughs> that is, the, the, that, the that's reason, ass. And reason, it's next year's the, fifth. It, thank you. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm saving picks. See, yeah. when you're trying to come back and do a thing and you're trying to win now, you got to push some stuff back a little bit. So, I'll give him the fifth next year. But the third this year, we have two threes this year, I do believe. Is, or is that two-fourths this year? Two-fourths. Two we have two-fourths. So, DeAndre Hopkins, I can get that guy right now. And the reason I'm going to only go give them a third and a fifth because I got to absorb that cap room. Yeah. And I'm going to let the Cardinals know that. They might as well give all that up. <coughs> 2023. Now, this is the one right here. Now, I want to go to Dallas, right? I'm going to Dallas. We didn't do good business with Dallas before. Now, I got 2023 second round. I'm going to give them a second round pick this year. And a third round pick G. this Bush, year. I love oh, you. Hold on. <laughs> but you are out of your mind. Hold that first on. trade I can live with. Hold on. You're right. Hold on. Go ahead. That but second his, trade, no chance. Hey, but, but, That's worse than his. Hey, but, 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 <laughs> but by the way, but by the way, I am. So here you got to think about it. I am willing to go as high in 2024 on a second round pick too to sweeten the deal. Yeah, but no, they're dropping 20 picks just to get a third round pick. Here's not, a, nobody's going to do they're that. They're over the cap. 
They got cap issues. That doesn't matter. They don't know what they're doing with that Prescott. If yeah. I give That's you, even more reason why they're going to keep that first if pick. If I give you a second-round pick and a third-round pick this year and give you another second just to move up a couple spots for a first-round pick. That's not that, move. That's they 20 still, spots. They, if, you know, if they over the cap like that, that means they got to cut some people that they don't want to cut. They so they're going to replace them with rookies, especially in the first you, round. Right. Makes, what, so and here's the saying? thing. And here's the thing. They could trade, they could trade back. They got enough assets that they could trade back and still get the person that they wanted to get anyway. Yeah, but they're not going to trade. I, nobody trades nobody, out of the I'm first round without getting the first round. That's what I'm saying. saying. I don't hey, know. Yeah. Who, who, who y'all been looking at? Hey, yeah. But here's my rebuttal. Yeah. Here's my rebuttal. Who would have thought that you could get, get Amari Cooper for fifth, fifth round pick? That's more believable Speech than G. giving up this Thank first you. round pick. Let's not act like people are so no, savvy. Big G. It's not about being savvy. They all have this chart of what these draft. They screw up on the trade on the trades of players. Sure. Hey, nobody's trading a second round pick for two second round I picks. For hey, a first listen, round. I'm telling you, I'll give a, they, they want the 224 right. second round. Let, me, like let me ask you this. Hold oh, yeah. on. It, flip it. Would you take that deal if you was there? It, listen, if I if I could guarantee that I had another first round pick, sure I would. You would trade your first round pick for two second round picks. I, that means I would have three third three. I would have three second round picks. Sure, yeah, I would. Oh, yeah, boy. Which is more? They, they will walk you out of that office. office. Which, is, <laughs> which is more valuable, a player at nineteen or three players in the second round? The one at nineteen. But you're not getting one at three players. One at nineteen. Yes, it's they, a, they, it's two. It's they a talent thing. They already have pick. their second round pick. It's yeah, a, but you got that either way. <laughs> so I gave you two. <laughs> So, so, so this is the thing. The difference Eight is three. so the difference with the draft is if your first round pick is usually a talent thing. So, yeah. like your talent is like off the charts compared to a second round. So watch this. So I'm gonna definitely take the first at round. Pick. At certain positions, at certain positions in this draft, yeah. Say you want a defensive tackle. There's maybe three to four prospects that's even considered first round mm-hmm. pick. So when you get to 19 and somebody on your board, you're looking around like. Do I really even need this cat or am I overreaching for this person? A second round pick in a stat draft is better than a first round pick in a week draft. Can we agree with that? Facts, preach you. Me and Super you on the same facts. page, brother. Bring that back so I can get to my defense All right, go ahead. and get to this war room. Now, my defensive picks, this is beautiful. I'm not going to get, I ain't getting what's the name, Javon Hargrave. You know why? I don't like that 40 something he got. In, in, in his run defense. You're welcome for that nugget. This Thank morning. you so much, McNuggets. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm going to give me Fletcher Cox. I can get him for cheaper, and I can get him on a one- or two-year deal. Let me go to Bobby Wagner, best linebacker in the game, speaking for PFF. 90 overall grade. He, he's not missing nothing. Linebacker bring great consistency and character. You can he's get in him the middle. Cleveland. And then I like what OG did. Give me Devin Bush, a dude that that he's a Michigan guy, yeah. but he got the tools, he got the speed. He's just been banged up in Pittsburgh. That's the type of guy I could put and th- do a little flyer on. So now we got something here. Now with that draft pick I got, I'm drafting Jalen Hyatt. Speedy, gets open, run, runs easy past people from Tennessee. Go check his highlights on YouTube. I'm going to take him. So now what That's I got on bad. offense, I got the speed guy. I got DeAndre Hopkins. I still got Donovan Peoples-Jones, and I got Amari Cooper. Now we rolling. David Bell can come up or show up when he don't want so, to. So you're running, you running a spread now. We're going to run a lot. I, I you're running a four, Bob. You're running a four receiver. And I brought back coaches o- and top five center. Overall, he did a good job. <laughs> his trade for Dallas is absurd. The rest, <laughs> of, his, the rest of his thing is good. I agree with that. The rest of his thing is good. And before but that we, trade is never it's happened. not going to happen. And, and, and <laughs> before, before we do this, yeah. I want to shout out to the chat, man. Let's just do something really quick. Show me them G Bush emojis. <laughs> G Bush, aka L. Come on. Well, the fans are going to love that trade. <laughs> of course they are. They now. Would take so wait, before Bo goes, put them yes. in there. I need to give everyone a caveat. Because mine's got like three pages worth yes. of stuff. So oh my God. I sent Bo <laughs> the assignment. I yeah. sent him G's as a sample, yeah. and Bull came back with a whole extra category that no one else thought of because yeah. Bull needed more money. So I we, needed more money, so I cut cups. So we designed. So before we show you what Bull is bringing in, let's yeah. show you who Bull's kicking out. So I, got, I had to cut so. all these guys to create more cap space, guys. A backup offensive lineman, Joe Hay. <laughs> what am I doing with that guy? He sucks ass. <laughs> Harrison Bryant. Am I paying him too? Am I locking up two million on the cap? He can't play. Goodbye. Corey Bjorkes, you suck as a punter. I'll go get a rookie punter. F him. Anthony Schwartz, you're taking a million right there. Jordan Elliott, you've been here three years. You haven't done a freaking thing. <laughs> Drew Forbes, I didn't even know Drew Forbes and Tony Fields were still here. I'm not paying them $3 million. I just saved $12 million on the cap with cutting those guys. So that Ball means, for, just so everyone 
understands when yeah. Bull explains his offseason moves. He's now working with roughly 62, 62 million. million, not 50 like I got rid of all those scrubs. None of those guys have any value. I saved 12 extra million you on the You done cut the concession stand workers, bro. F him too. You ain't, well, got, you well, ain't got no valet parking. Well, who, I'm cutting Baker Mayfield's wife <laughs> from the nacho stand. <laughs> She's out dang, too. Dang, she, next to, she next to Jenny Taft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now look at roll. this. You guys are going to love this. Here we go. Mike. We can read it. All right, here we go. Man. First, here's my trade. All right. I'm getting Brandon Cooks for Houston. I got a third round pick and a fourth round pick. And a fourth round picks next year. Now, maybe I got to give up a second, third rounder. I'm just, I'm just shocked at that. My trade is absurd, but all of these is and no, get your good. Fill, get your you don't. You got a problem with my trade? No, nah, I just they gonna take that. I think they would. Okay. And, and but I'll give up more if I have to. If I have if I have to give up two thirds, if I have to give up two threes and a five, I'll do it. See that? You see that? See, I, I it, came up with that. But, but if you do that I like that. You use you that for, whatever. He ain't willing, he willing to go a little extra. Now, if you do that from the beginning, you know you already like. So, now, uh, you, that's you, what I'm saying. Right I'm like, bringing <laughs> back Ethan Pochich, and, okay. and you talk like me that. into Taki Taki, too, because I'm not going to pay him much, all right? Now, let's get to the – what should I do? Is it my signings or my draft picks? What are your signings? You're the only one that gave us four draft picks, so go through the draft picks first. All right. Um – I, I basically cheated and used. Um, I like the Parker Washington. Some, some draft picks, uh, some draft boards. Ivan Pace is a linebacker. Yeah, he might win it. The first be- kid is a defensive end from Kansas at, State. He was the Big Twelve a, defensive player of the year. Very productive. Mm. Tested. I like well guys too. that are. Produ- I don't care what they ran in the freaking forty. I agree. I want to know did they play good football? I agree. And these guys play <laughs> football. Parker All these guys. Park, I like Parker Washington. I like I like Parker Washington's oh, yeah. game from Penn State, Johnson's and, safety, I like, I and I like and I like Ivan Pace from Cincinnati. See, he there you go. I've got productive players that I'm bringing in. So you I'm, went in the draft, defensive end, wide receiver, yeah, D- linebacker, linebacker, safety, safety. Yes. D- draft picks. All right, I'm taking a punter in the seventh round. Best punter in college. I'm taking him in the seventh round. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm I went wild on the defensive line, and originally I was going to draft. I was going to get Hargrave like you guys did, but I said, you know what? I'm going to spread out the money a little bit because okay. Hargrave is going to cost like 18, okay. 20 million dollars. Dalvin Tomlinson, okay, one of the best run stuffing defensive tackles out there. Sheldon Rankins, also. I got all three of my linemen that I got there. Uh, Sheldon Rankins was is from the Jets. Dalvin Tomlinson from the Chargers, and Arden Key from Jacksonville. All are top run stoppers. All of them. Arden, Arden Key's a guy I really like. Arden Key and and they're guys that I think, and I based my money on PFF was projecting salaries for these guys. Mm-hmm, so okay. I went with what they had. And those three guys combined are going to make about $24, 25000000 million. So instead of spending eighteen twenty on Hargrave, spent a little more and got three, three good. Can you imagine? I, I think it's probably not going to happen that they're going to get all three. But if they added those three guys to Miles Garrett, your defensive line goes from being awful to, in my opinion, being very good. I, I, I like the moves. I like, I like Sheldon Rankins a lot. Yeah. You got Mercedes Lewis. Mercedes. Now, you. I got rid of that scrub Harrison Bryant. I do need another tight end. All you right? like 50. He's an old guy. <laughs> I think he literally turns 40 this year. He's yeah. an old guy. But this guy's a, been a winner. You in the chat. He's got great <laughs> hands. He's a veteran. He can block for me. He can be my blocking tight end. I can throw to him in the end and zone every once in a while. Mercedes. Mercedes. Yeah. Mar- I love him. UCLA. Now. Mercedes Lewis. Let's go to linebacker. I need a veteran to lead my Mercedes. linebacking core. I got JOK. I got Taki Taki. I'm drafting Ivan Pace in the middle. I thought I was moving off of JOK. Isn't Kendrick's a middle line? Kendrick's. No, I meant I got him. Uh, what what do you mean? Ivan Pace the middle and Kendricks the middle, ain't he? I don't think. Well, but Ivan Pace is a young guy. Eric Kendricks is one is just okay, like so, one so, year. So deep. Kendricks gonna play Mike. Pace He's gonna is gonna play, play Ivan Pace. We're gonna work him in the mix a little yeah, bit. Play him at wheel. So he both right. they both in the See, box. See there you go. There you go. Eric Kendricks is the veteran leader I need mm-hmm. on this defensive line. Now I need a safety, but I don't have a lot of money at this point. <laughs> I'm spend a ton of money on. You got a cash? I'm already spent a lot of money on my secondary. Mm-hmm. Deron Harmon is a guy. Uh, uh, for Vegas, I think he played it for Vegas last year. Was Vegas it? last year, correct. Who's a, just a good, solid Wasn't safety. He the Patriots had a really nice. He, I think he was on he the was Patriots. Patriots. Then he went to the Raiders. Well, he's been a, a good, good okay. contributor. He's not a star, but I can get him for two, three million dollars. I don't he, need a star. So this is like a post safety. What's he, he running? He, four, three sideline to sideline. I don't even know what he's running. Okay. I well, just know he had a good PFF grade. Okay. All right. I was looking for a cheap safety with a good PFF grade, okay. and I came up with him. I don't know much about him, but I know he's been productive. <laughs> and finally, 
I'm not hit. I, I am taking part. So I, to me, I want my offense to be dynamic. Mm-hmm. I've got the running back. I ain't messing with Nick Chubb. Mm-hmm. I know there's all the rumors out there. I'm, mess, I'm not messing with Nick, Nick Chubb. Got you. I've got a pretty good tight end. I don't love him, but he's but he's solid. You talking about a Najoku? Yeah. Okay. I got Amari Cooper, who's a good, very good wide receiver. I'm trading for Brandon Cooks. I got DPJ. I'm taking a wild card on Darius Slayton to the Giants. Right, I got you. He's a nice player. I think with a good. I think now, I've got. Look at my top five wide receivers now. I got Amari Cooper. I got Brandon Cooks. I got Darius Slayton. Who one problem with him is he gets injured, but now I got good depth, so he's going to miss his time on my right. Wow, I got DPJ good. and Parker Washington. That is amazing depth. That, that is amazing receiver. depth. Also, remember, Bull cut 23 guys to have 12 extra <laughs> guys. <laughs> exercise. I got, no, no, hold on. So I'm when excited. You, when you cut 23 guys, there's a what is it? A 53, 53, 53 man 53 roster. Yeah. You have to back. I got to sign a bunch of schlubs. Oh, okay. Free. That's what I'm like. Who you backfilling with? <laughs> now, I'm, I'm signing Bull. Tyvis. We're adding Tyvis in. As my undrafted free agent, we're bringing them back. We're bringing right. them back to the I, I hereby. He's my third I'm safety. On, I'm team bull right now. <laughs> <laughs> he just won. Tyrus is my third safety. <laughs> bull should win this by you landslide. You can be bull. Tackle too. <laughs> no, bro, I'm not playing. G Bush. Will you be on my team no, here? No, no, no. You're I'm done? Not, <laughs> not, the man's been through enough for crying. I yeah. punted in uh, Pop Warner. I'll be yeah. your punter. Oh. Now, I actually, oh. Nuggets, he got the best depth. I'm not going to lie. He yeah, got a lot he, of depth he in a lot of places. He went into a lot of However, detail. However, <laughs> I'm looking on the list, and I'm looking for impact. I, I want some uh, somewhere see, I want the pop. Let me see I his want, list oh, again. Let me see. Oh, give me that pop. Let me see like, Bull. Brandon let Cooks. Me, let me see Bulls list again. I, it's coming. That's his biggest move. Brandon Cooks and there's a lot of rookies. No, because he got you got Darius Slade who can give you that pop. I, <sighs> Eric Hendricks is a really good player. I like, I Hendricks like was like you all pro you, like you, two years, you, two or three years. You won't hear me say nothing about the D line. I like what and you, you did know what? D-line. The defensive tackles, they're not sexy names. Right. But they're producers and they stop the run. I like that. Well, we got a bunch of uh, guys who can't stop the run. So let's say in a hypothetical world, you didn't cut 23 players and you were yeah. working under the same 50 million cap that we were. Of yeah. the free agent, Steve, pull back 129. I know it's a pain in the butt to keep going back. I apologize. Pull Bulls back up. I would t- of I- these guys, who are you not signing if you abided by the 50 million cap? So I would, cap? I'll take Dalvin Tomlinson out of it. I'll take Dal- Dalvin Tomlinson out. That he, He's probably going to make 10 million. Yeah, I saw 10, 11 was his. Yeah, somewhere his around there. So I would take Dalvin Tomlinson out. And then I might cha- I might in- if I did that I might draft a defensive tackle at, at 42 instead of a defensive end. That would change it up. But I could Fair I would take Tomlinson out. That would be my move. Well, I mean, if you got if you got Arden Key, if you sign, you don't need to take a DN. I mean, you you just like you just kick right, the, you you kick the ball on a uh, right Alex. Right. I know, but I I love the idea of bringing in an Arden Key who's a good I think a very good number two end. Right. Mm-hmm. And then drafting a guy. Because I want to rope these good teams well, that have the good pass rushes. Yeah. They have all these guys. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, they're rotating guys well, in. And out. But you got three, right? You have three with which you got Miles, Arden, and who is right. who is the other one? Oh, and Wright. Alex Wright. Yeah, Alex Wright. That's three mm-hmm. right there. And I need a couple. I, and plus this draft you never have enough to d- d- defensive. This match. draft is really, true. This draft is really dope. But if you uh, blitzing then I mean for for you app, pressure for, another for, way. Well, you're talking about uh, when you talk about the, the edge rushers, there's a lot of good edge rushers in this draft. More more so than defensive tackles. Yeah. That's why I didn't have a really no there's problem a lot with of it. Names. You, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would if I would if I had to cut be. that money out, I'd leave Tomlinson on the table and I'd take Mozzie Smith at forty two instead of the pass. I respect that. That ain't bad. I respect yeah, that. That's not bad. So there you go. So when we look real quick. Well, that was before, fun. It was before we move on though, I want to do one more thing with this. Yeah. So in totality, five different Perfect off seasons. Yeah, I think all of us brought back Pochich. Was yes. the one common denominator between all five of us? A defensive tackle in some way or, or another was top. The one yeah. thing we all disagreed or not disagreed, but none of us spent huge money on a safety. Nope. No. Not none of us it. did. Not doing no. it. In five different scenarios. It's and that's sad because I play safety. But no, but my safety is a safety that plays multiple positions. He plays every position. No, we all signed the safety. How much is Jimmy Ward getting paid? Four or five mil? Cool. I, thought, I saw six on PFF. And how much is Thornhill Thornhill getting? was six, too. So right in that same Oh, I'm taking Jimmy. Range. I mean, that, those are mid-range. What is, how, you know. Thornhill is what, 27? I went cheap Thornhill's safety. Thornhill's pretty young. You and went Jimmy, what, 30? 
Did you sign a safety? Man, if I, I I'm going to get the Gardner dude from Oh CJ Gardner Minshew. Yeah, I'm getting no yeah. CJ. <laughs> yeah. same, same joint. Same CJ joint. Gardner just thirty one. Thor yeah, give me that. Give me that. And here's the thing too. We have well, if that's the case, going off the Browns philosophy, they will go with Thorne. You know, you got you got Jordan Poyer still. Yeah. Uh, he's out there in the market. He's, he's up. By the that's way, yeah, that's that. They're not gonna do that. By the way, nobody spent any money on a backup quarterback. Zero. Kellen Mond's the guy. Whether so we it's like either it Kellen not. Mond or a draft pick. Draft pick. We're gonna run, we're gonna wild wildcat something like we we ain't draft. Nobody getting that. We'll get somebody. We we'll get a uh, we we'll get somebody like a uh, hooker. How old are you, Hooker? Tyler? How old are you now? Twenty nine. Oh yeah. Twenty nine. Uh, mm. mm. All right. Just throwing, just throwing, throwing that line right on the edge, right on the old. See, we all said we like. Mm. Mm. Go ahead, Mike. We what asked the internet who had the best year, right? off season oh, hey, plan. Yeah. And whenever we ask the internet a question, it's brought to us by yeah, PCC Airfoils. Maybe Looking too. for a job with career advancement and great benefits? PCC Airfoils is a leading manufacturer in Northeast Ohio. All locations of PCC Airfoils in East Lake, Menor, Wycliffe, and Minerva are hiring for all positions starting at $18 and up, plus full benefit packages, paid time off, and a signing bonus. You can apply online at precast.com slash careers to learn more. How long ago could you have done that? We just gave mine. I'm tripping on uh, Anthony 66 just gave polls. me the results. I'm tripping on this. It was fact. a seven-minute poll, over 200 votes. Yeah, wait a second. Did you start the poll before mine was released? Anthony, when did you start the poll? <laughs> Bulls still probably going to win the as poll Bulls anyway. Was Oh, okay. he said he, he direct, the, the election's not rigged. <laughs> <laughs> He's so, like, oh, Bulls had the most. De- he had the most detail. He better win. Whenever I we ask the poll, that. G. Bush, I think, is undefeated in these until no, today. Yeah, the, oh. like, I told you, they like him. The king has fallen. They like Ooh. plethora. They, they like, like multiple. They like love he, plethora. They want, Listen, you I get, played to the plethora crowd. Yeah, you played to the plethora <laughs> crowd. Like and you, Bull with forty nine percent. Despite the fact he cheated the system a little bit and cut half the <laughs> game. Yeah, he cut out your life. These are veterans of the, of the game. I am a veteran of the game. I've done this. <laughs> and, and no, but you, you overwhelmingly, Bull, 49% voted for you. No one else got more than 30. So, yeah. overwhelmingly, you did put together the best offseason plan. Next time we do that, guys, cuts are on the table. Cuts. If you want to cut everybody. Oh, oh, so now it's the know. cuts is on the table. I don't know how you, I don't know how you cut people <laughs> and you still got to backfield positions. Yeah, I, I yeah. mean, you, you undermining your team by the cuts. No, I cut all the I, I Did I come in last? Who came in last? I was Who's last. Uh, technically, I came in last. Me and Tyus were really close, though. 11 and 9. I got 29. Oh, I third. You got 29%. I got 29%. I, I take that. 30. I'm always in the top. I'm always going to put it in the top. Let me, here, let me put this on the record. I'm putting it back on the record. Yeah. I really like Nick Chubb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Nick Chubb, Brad. I do. I'm what are some of the people I'm saying? The one, I'm the one singing <laughs> praises all the time. What but I guess what? Yeah. In this business, no permanent throat, friends, man. no permanent enemies. What That's can true. you bring me? That's true. <laughs> Gee, what are some of the fans saying? Hey, hey, Tetsalate eh? <laughs> says, G. Bush, you got blown out of water. Swallow your pride sandwich. I just a hey, pride, t- <laughs> pride sandwiches with may- mayonnaise. Yeah. I, you know, I do it. Slice like, of humble pie. You know, I listen. I'm told, I, I, I automatically say I'm the all-time second runner-up in history every every game. <laughs> I'd at least come in in second mm. plot. I'll take that. <laughs> Let's get to it. Right. Uh, Brad got negative percentage. Yeah. <laughs> Always balling. <laughs> look, look. King B's Brad was dead last. <laughs> 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 the smoke is coming. Look, <laughs> look. Now, when they trade Nick Trubb ass in the two, <laughs> y'all going to be sick. Uh, come That's back right. to me for the close-up. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, uh, listen, this is crazy. Let me give you one. Uh, 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 Joseph uh, Roscoe says, Tyvis is saying that he's open to coming back. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest split between the eyes. LOL I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, speaking of our fans, it's a great time to talk about membership. It is. Like it is. If you 